guys, I am here with a pretty fun video because I'm gonna take all my extensions out and show you what my hair looks like underneath all of this fake red aerialish hair that I love. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you guys taking them out, what my hair looks like, and then after that I'm gonna answer some questions for you guys that you guys had about um, extensions on Twitter and stuff like, do they hurt, what kind do you have, how do you take care of them, I'll, and give you my review of extension fake hairness and what mine are, all those kind of things. So it's gonna be super fun and exciting to see what my how long my hair is underneath here. If you guys don't know, when you're new to Candyland, a few years ago, I cut all my hair off. I, I don't know, I, I just, out of the blue. It was like this long and I just cut it off like boy short. And I bleached it blonde and had it pink and green and blue and all different colors. And then after like a couple years of that, of like accidental me cutting it short all the time, it was never growing. I was like, I just want extensions in my hair. I just want long hair to do this with. And then um, I asked everybody, I'm like, you can't have extensions till your hair's down to your shoulders. And mine was like literally still up here near my ears. And I had one friend that was like, oh yes, we can can put extensions in your hair and we are gonna do it. And so I've had them ever since. It's been like six or seven months maybe I wanna say and I just love them. But I'm gonna show you guys taking them out and then answer all your questions and give you reviews about extensionness. So let's go see me taking all these babies out. The first thing that I should let you guys know is the extensions I have are like these little, they're like little black beads that get smashed down onto your hair. I had the tape-in kinds and I didn't like those because when you'd put your hair up or, you, or it'd start to grow out a little bit, it looked really fake and like the tapes would be the corners would be poking out so these for me look much more real and then the beads get smashed down so they're kind of flat on your head which I like because I think like maybe other techniques may hurt your head a little bit more so these are the extensions I do and then what you do to take them out you can just take like these little jewelry pliers and I will show you with the first one so they're smashed one direction like they're flat and then I'm just gonna take this and smash them in the opposite direction, and then, ta-da, there's one of them out. So I don't know how long this is going to take to get them all out, but I think there's like a couple hundred maybe in my hair. But I'm going to show you what my real hair looks like underneath here. And then I'll show you at the end what it looks like with the extensions put back in. So I'm gonna be doing this for a minute. So it is now almost one in the morning. I have this much hair left. It has taken me 10 to 11 to 12 30 almost two and a half hours to get this out of my hair look at you can see some of my short hair <laughs> this is taking forever look at all this hair the good news is on the end of these little beads that is the little crimpy guy that you have to smash and then the little bead just slides off and then your hair was with this bead smashed in here so when you take this off none of my hair is being damaged or coming off at all this is just taking forever okay so this is my short hair without any of the extensions in this is I will show you all the hair on my table and then we will see tomorrow me getting it out I don't know should I get the extensions back in I can't decide should I leave it like this and then putting it back in but I am so tired and I want to go to bed and this is I haven't seen my short hair in like six months I mean I guess it was up to here so it's grown a little <laughs> but not enough Okay, so don't judge my beautiful makeup table, but here are all the extensions. Those are the little bead guys that just get smashed and it's taken me forever to get out. Okay, and this is what it looked like after I got my extensions put back in and dyed. So the process to do that is, um, for this red color especially, they have to lighten my roots a little bit. Then she dyes it with Provana Red all over so it gets very bright and glowy. And then she does Redken 6RR, which is a little shade darker around like my hairline. So it gives it like some more depth and dimension. And then she puts all the extensions back in which I love. The longest part is like the dyeing it is really takes the most time and then taking them out, but I already took them out for her. So I'm gonna go through some questions and things and go over the three different types of extensions that I have had. So I've had the tape in, the bonded kind, and then these little, the micro beads, the little tubes that smash. These are not the kind where like you get your hair braided and then sewn in. These are just clipped onto my hair like I showed you when I was taking them out. So the first one I had was the tape ins and um, the, the good thing about those is they go in really quickly, but that's about it because after that it's like a big strip So all this all your chunk of hair is like attached in one big strip So it doesn't move like natural hair because it's like this big strip that just stays in place So it doesn't look as natural and then when you take them out the adhesive remover to get them out It is so damaging to your hair like hair was just coming out in chunks And it was not hair that was shed from my head like the roots were still attached to it 
and then you have to get all the adhesive, the glue, this goo out of your hair. It, is, it smells like you're using nail polish remover to melt your hair. It, it's awful, drying and horrible. So the tape-in's going really fast, which is great, but awful every other, you can't put your hair up because you see the tapes, it's awful. The next one was the the fusion ones, or I don't know what they're called, the little glue like fusion kind of ones. Those hurt because they feel like little round beads just smashing into your head. And then again, taking those guys out was horrible. Like again, so much hair, roots from the scalp coming out in the hair, very damaging. Those were the worst ones ever. And then my friend was like, let's try these micro bead ones. And I was like, I don't want them to hurt. Like the, like the fusion ones hurt, they're like little beads I couldn't even lay down. And then these the little tubes, they smash, so they're like flat against your head. So of course they hurt a little bit, but not like the other ones. Um, so any any of the extensions at all, like the first few days, totally hurt your head. Like it feels like when you get your hair braided or you have it up in a ponytail, and then when you take it out and your scalp just feels sore, that's what the extensions feel. But then like, no matter what they are, when you lay on them, it just feels like a little uncomfortable at first. So like, I'd be sleeping with my arm like, this so my face was just like on my arm to sleep and my head wasn't touching anything. So my recommendations are get a very poofy pillow that's very fluffy so your head can just like not really feel all the weight but just be fluffy and comfortable. But after like three or four days then you're totally fine and just like oh you don't even think about it anymore. People ask how often do you get them changed or done? So you want to do them every six weeks. You, some people go two months but I feel like that's way too long. I went too many weeks over and then where the bead grows up until your scalp your hair starts to grow out. So when you wash your hair or you sleep on it it just kind of starts matting up and can get like a dreadlock, dreadlock mat like against your scalp. So that's kind of kind of yucky. So. I like for them to stay looking good, try to do it like every four weeks. And then with these, I can put my hair up in an updo, a ponytail, anything. It does not hurt. You can't do that with the tapes though. Um, so it's super easy and great that way. How do I get them to look perfect? You just blow dry them and style them like normal, but what I do is I will mostly dry them by hand, like just with a blow dryer like this. And then once it's pretty dry, then I'll go in with my, my round brush and kind of straighten them out as much as I can. Then you can curl them, straighten them, whatever, like normal hair. Or sometimes I've had like my hair blown like a blow dry bar, and I will just hold it, hold it at my scalp so it doesn't pull on it, and then they'll use the round brush. I'm like, don't pull them out. So that is one thing you have to be careful of. How often do you wash them? You can wash them every day if you want. I do it like every two days or every three days, just because I don't want all my red hair color to come out and be super faded. So like every other day, I wash it for sure. Unless it's like sweaty and gross, and I just have to wash it again. Um, what length are my extensions? I think these are 18 inch. I don't know, they're, they're pretty long. Um, how do you keep them looking healthy? Does dyeing and heat products dry them out? Yes. Heat products will dry them out. They're just like normal hair, so it can get damaged too. Um, but I just use normal styling products. The thing you do want to avoid, especially if you have the bond or the tape, is any um, shampoo or conditioner with sulfates because the sulfates will break down the bonds and the glue, and they're also bad for your hair color. So you have to use sulfate-free shampoo and conditioner for sure. Um, how much does it cost? This varies on hairstylists because each one, each length, each color, each hairstylist is totally different, so that's hard to guess. Um, and how do you cut extensions into your hair and a good way to label them so you know where each sits on your scalp? Well, she just puts them in first and I don't know if you can zoom in and you can see that's what they look like right there. And then, then she just cut, you just cut them like normal hair, like it's just growing normal hair on your head. But I reuse these, so when I go get mine redone, we take these out, I se we separate them into like the long and the short pieces, so then she'll put all the long ones back in and then we'll put all the short ones up near my face and then she'll like re-trim them again. So it looks like I got a fresh haircut, like it's my real hair growing out. How to clean them? You just shampoo and wash them like normal hair. Um, and do they hurt? Well, we already went over the, the hurt part. No, I'm totally used to them now, like I can, tap my head, I can style them, you can switch them either way. Th this part is just my normal hair and then they just are down along this way. And I love them, like when she took them out, I was like, oh I could keep my hair short like this, but I'm like, but I really love the long, the long hair is so fun. I just love it. I don't know how long I will keep them in, probably till they grow, till my hair could get to here. It's here, but it's like a weird shaggy haircut. So I got short pieces, of, it just looks like a big poof ball. So I want it all to be like a little longer. So who knows, maybe another six months. I kind of want to do it dark, I'm not really sure. But that is my whole extension experience. And it's totally fake hair, but I don't, it just feels like it's my hair after a while. And I think that it looks pretty real. Like to me, I'm like, 
this is my long hair, even though it's really not. But um, let me know if you guys want me to do any more reviews of anything else, any other hair colors you think I should try. I'm thinking maybe just kind of some fun ombre and then like my, my old normal dark hair, or I really like blonde, but it's just gonna fry my hair and it's gonna all fluff off my head and I wanna keep it on my head so it grows long again. <laughs> Um, but I I hope you guys love this and if you have any other questions I will try to answer them in the comments below and stay tuned for more of my everyday princess looks um, You can see more pictures of me and my hair and everything all over Twitter Instagram Snapchat Facebook Vine Pinterest blah, all over the internet just put Katie Johnson in my I should be everywhere with my name right there and then that is all oh and the makeup look for this is my Belle everyday princess makeup tutorial so if anybody's wondering I will put the link when that's up for Belle because I just it should be either it should be up soon or maybe it's already up. I'll put a link for anything no matter what. And always remember that you guys are more beautiful than you know. You're more talented than you think. And you're more loved than you can possibly imagine. So huge hugs from my house to yours. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!